Oh, no, it was an incredible day. You know, uh, you know, this was you know, last year was our first trip to Jackson, and the opportunity to come to Lambeth, beautiful campus, uh, you know, great place. It's been a wonderful week for our guys to uh, to grow, grow together, you know, continue to develop those relationships, and then to come out to today and to see you know all, all of the, you know our Tiger fans up here, you know, giving their support, cheering on these young men. Um, you know, it, it's a, it's definitely special for us as a staff and as an organization. I know you'll go back and look at film, but just from the eye, what'd you see? Oh, I thought I saw both sides of the ball competing. You know, that was something that you're hopeful for. Um, you know, I thought the first defense came out, started really fast, uh, very aggressive. Um, you know, we held we held a good number of guys. You've got them, you know some limited work, uh, you know, guys that are well established, um, and we, we wanted to see the young guys play. And you know, there were some mistakes that were made, there was some communication that has to improve, uh, but you got to see some, some, some young guys that, uh, you know, that are really stepping up and elevating their game, and, and I believe we'll be able to help our program this year. I know you say that, but... Are you where you want to be at this point? I think so. I mean, you know, you're always, you're always pushing, you're always wanting to be better, uh, you don't want to have any, any steps back. Um, but I, I, told the I told the team uh, on uh, Monday morning, Said this was the most important week of our season. You know, going into the second week of camp, you know, you're the first time that we've been out of school. It was just about football, and uh, you know, we had a majority of the week were outstanding days. We had one that we didn't we didn't come out very well, and uh, but our guys responded to it, and that was something I was really proud of, really proud to see, and then finished up a really uh, a really good day. I think we ended up with 100 and 107, 108 plays, scrimmage snaps, which was good, and probably another 20 special snaps. That was a, that was a really good day for us. Did you I know the guys there? learned a lot about each other that they didn't know when they're up here. Did you learn anything about anybody that you didn't know while up here a couple of days? Uh, I learned. I learned a lot. You know what? I mean, you know, you have uh, every one of our newcomers got to stand up and tell their full story, and you know when you're. Uh, you're going through recruiting. You spend a lot of time getting to know a young man, you know, 17, 18 years old. Um, you know, throughout that process, you know, it's it's hard it's hard to, to develop that trust for them to truly open up. And you, like I always talk talk about, is you you've got to earn trust. You've got to that's something that's got to be built over time. And now that every newcomer, we now have three months under our belt since since May, essentially. And so uh, you know, getting to them, getting to hear them tell their stories, uh, some of the obstacles that they that they faced, you know, some of the things that uh, that have led them to to the University of Memphis. Uh, I'm just so proud and honored to coach these young men. And uh, I know Tiger Nation should be proud of, of the young men that we have representing uh, you know, our program. Would you see from Brady and Davis? Yeah, no, I really did. I was, I was pleased. You know, we we only got Riley only got I think four or five series. I mean, and it was yeah, that was what we wanted to do going into it. And uh, you know, I think he finished up well. Uh, and then you know, Brady and David, you know, they both kind of battling through the you know, just normal camp soreness and ailments, and uh, for them to kind of put that all in the back of their mind and come out and compete. Uh, both did good things. Both did some. Bonehead things at times, but uh, we are we're definitely growing, and, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from our teammates. Either one of them stand out. Uh, you know, I thought they both had, had good plays. You know, some of both of them had mistakes that could cost us, and uh, um, so you know, they, I, I thought that their approach to it, uh, you know, to coaching well, uh, you know, I was, I was pleased with, with their, both of their performances. But I got to watch them and see all the details. The preseason hype and the expectations are uh, high for the team right now. How do you keep them focused and so intense? Uh, with so much uh, good things expected from them. We focus on today. And, uh, you know, the, the preseason hype, uh, expectations, you know, all, all that's coming from the outside. Um, you know, the, the preseason expectations and the hype that we have within our program is, is even more. And so, uh, but we know that, um, you know, for us, we, we want to, the only way that we'll accomplish anything is focusing on the day that, that, that we have in front of us and make sure that we're doing everything in our power to prepare for this season and, and for this first game coming up. When you get in the camp like this a couple weeks, is it, is it tough to manage? Obviously, guys, you need to get reps, but you also want to make sure, you know, you don't get banged up. Yeah, that's, that's a fine balance. You know, I mean, we're, uh, today we had, uh, you know, we, we held um, you know, Phil, uh, Anthony, um, you know, Tate, there's some guys that had little dings that, that, um, you know, that, that we kept out. Uh, you know, I'm excited next uh, Monday, Jackson Dillon's going to be full go and we'll be back out, uh, you know, you know uh, release our full contact. So uh, we're excited. We're excited about what we have. I mean, today, as a, you know, as a head coach, you're always just sitting there holding your breath uh, in the sense that uh, you, you got to work. you, you got to be physical. you got to make sure guys are uh, doing doing their part to, uh, to prepare. But then you also want to make sure that, uh, you know, you get the reps of the young guys that need to go out there and, uh, and uh, what do you think about today? No, I mean, I was really, I 
I was, I was so hopeful. He was one of the guys that I had told him before. I was excited to see what he would do. And, uh, you know, great run. I uh, was all upset early in the game. I've uh, been so impressed with those things. He's still on there. He's still on there. Y'all can figure it out. He's getting better every day. Great coach. Had a great day. Uh, coach, the courts are the same crap for his ACL. How devastating is that for the offense and for him? Well, I mean, you know, obviously that's something we're going to, you know, we've got word last night that uh, Sam was, is going to miss the season. Uh, you know, I obviously hate it for him. He's uh, one, of, one of my favorites. He's, uh, we came in, had an incredible offseason. He was you know, having a great camp. We were just on there. We were just throwing some out on there. Had him a step and that's the big thing. You know, he's, we're definitely, our thoughts are with him. We're going to get to him this week and kind of discuss things uh, moving forward. But it's for Sam, he's, he's a phenomenal representative of Memphis What are the chances for What are the chances that he gets a six year old? Uh, I'm not going to know. That's something we're not, we haven't even talked about. Yet. Right, and the is doing that, it's not saying so we're going to make sure that we're talking. We're going to have the power to be supportive of him. 